Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and today we're going to take a look at how to create a split screen in Unity. We're going to see how to create a split screen effect, and we'll also see how to switch between a vertical and horizontal split screen at the touch of a button. So, we'll start off by taking a look at how we split the screen in Unity, and it's actually very, very simple to do. To do uh, your standard kind of one player doing one thing, one player doing another, it's very, very straightforward. I'm just going to talk for a second on this quick little scene I have set up. It's basically just these two little cubes here so if I press play I can move one of them you can see he's looking at this camera here and if I press tab I switch to controlling this other guy so at the moment we want to be able to show what it looks like when these two guys are moving I also have on each of these guys a different camera setup so if I turn off the camera on the blue guy and switch on the camera on the red guy you can see now if I went and played I can move the blue guy and I can tab over and we've got the red guy so now we want to be able to show both of these in action at the same time. And to do that, I'm going to go back to my first camera first of all. All we have to do is control the amount of area that the camera is actually taking up in our viewport screen here. So to do that, we can very, very simply jump over here to where we have viewport rect. And all we have to do is go down to W here, which is W for width, and just click on this and change it to 0.5. And suddenly, our camera is now only taking up half the screen. Now you can see it doesn't squash the camera or anything like that. The, the full view of the camera doesn't get shrink, shrunk down. So if I switch back to one, you'll see, we can see the edges of the plane here, for example, in the corners. But if we go back to 0.5, it just cuts those elements off. So it's not shrinking the screen, it's just uh, decreasing the amount of area that the camera will actually capture. And that's exactly what we want. We don't want it to just shrink down everything that it's seeing. So with that done, obviously then we could go to the other camera and if I turn it on, first thing you notice is, oh, well, it just overlaid the original camera we had. We don't want that. If I go over here to the width and also change this to 0.5, you'll see, oh, it also just fit in the same area that we just put our camera here. So if I switch back, sorry, if I turn this off, you can see they're just overlaying each other now. So what we want to do is move this over to the other side. And for that, all we have to do is change the X position value. So at the moment, the X is zero, which means it's starting over at the left-hand side here. So we're gonna put it to 0.5. So we're saying start halfway across the screen. And now we have our split screen effect working. And that's basically it, that's all we have to do. So I can now move my blue guy around. You can see the camera on the left is following this guy. And if I press tab, now I'm controlling this little guy over here. And suddenly we're able to have a nice split screen live view working in our game without having to mess around with render textures or anything weird like that. So with that done, what about if we want to be able to switch between them on the fly? We want to be able to go, hey, I'm playing this game. For example, I definitely think of seeing this in games like Tony Hawk's and stuff like that, where you'd have the option in the menu to switch between having a vertical split like this and a horizontal split because some people prefer uh, seeing more to the side or more up and down. So we want to be able to add that in and that's very very simple. So the only thing I have set up here already is a canvas with a button in the corner. Obviously at the moment the button doesn't do anything so if I click on it it doesn't do anything in our game. So we're going to create a quick little script to handle this. So I'm going to go into my scripts folder right click and I'm going to create a C sharp script that will call split screen switch and I'm just going to throw an object in here to put it onto so we'll call this uh, we'll just call this a switch it doesn't matter too much what we're calling this and we'll open this up in Visual Studio so obviously with this open then we're going to want to adjust the we jump back in here the values on our camera for our viewport rect here so we're going to want to be able to access both of the cameras and we're going to want to change the values here from this vertical split to a horizontal split so back in here we're going to need a reference to both of those cameras so public camera cam one and cam two so we've got two cameras and we're going to keep track of whether we have a horizontal or a vertical split. So I'm going to say private bool. At the moment, we're vertical by default. So we're going to add a bool for is horizontal. Oops, can't spell apparently. Horizontal uh, split. 
So then when this, we're going to switch this between false and true, and when it's true, we're going to switch to horizontal, and when it's false, we'll switch to uh, vertical. So obviously then we need to be able to control when we activate this switch. So I'm going to add an if statement to say if our input dot get key down and we press the key code let's use the E key again it doesn't really matter which key you use too much then <clears throat> first thing we want to do is make sure that our horizontal split switches from being itself to the opposite of itself so instead of being false we want it to be true or instead of being true we want it to be false so all we have to do is is horizontal split equals not is horizontal split so if it's true, we're setting it to be false, and if it's false, we're setting it to be true. And then we want to do the code that will handle the switch. And for doing that, let's let's put that in its own little function down here. So we're going to create a public void. Uh, let's call it set split screen. So we're setting the type of split screen that we have, and then we're going to call this function whenever we press the key. So set split screen. And then down here, we can say if is horizontal split is true. So what we're saying here is if we're switching it to be a horizontal split, then we'll do some code in here. Else, we'll do some code down here for handling it being a vertical split. So let's look at what we do for handling the vertical split. If we go back in here, and we'll actually just hook up these two cameras onto our scripts here. If I save this, that would probably be handy too. There we go. Okay, we'll put camera one there and camera two there. So we have both of our cameras here now. If we go here to camera, what we're calling camera one, that has an X, Y of zero and a width of 0.5 and a height of one. And then the other camera has the same settings except for it has an X value of 0.5. So how can we set this back in our script? Well, so let's set up what's, as I said, what's ha happening vertically split like that. So we're gonna say, obviously we need to access camera one and then the value we want to change on our camera one is the rect value. So the rect is what, where, as you can see here, where on the screen is the camera rendered in normalized coordinates. So this is wh what portion of our screen view this is taking up. So we're going to say camera one rect equals a new rect. And what are those four values? Well, the, we know the camera value camera has zero on the x axis and zero on the y axis because we're starting it in on the side here and on the bottom here so then I go back over here we know that the width we want to be 0.5 so the next value we put in here is 0.5 f and then the height we want it to be is 1 f so we want to take up the full screen height wise so then for our camera 2 dot rect we'll set this to be equal to a new rect as well but this time we're going to start at 0.5 and then 0 again on the y-axis and again the width will be 0.5 and the height will be 1. Okay, so with both of those done, what happens when we want to do a split horizontally? Well, we're obviously going to do the same thing, so we're going to say camera one dot rect equals a new rect, but Camera one was on the left of our screen. So now we want camera one to be on the top of this new screen. So obviously it'll, on the X axis, it'll be starting at the side. So it'll be zero F, but because we want it to be on top, we want it to be at 0.5 on the Y axis. So then we'll set this to be one F for the width as well. And then 0.5 F for the height. So now it's taken up half the screen and we're starting it halfway up the screen. Let's do the same then for our camera two. So camera two dot rect equals a new rect. Again, zero F on the X axis. This time it's gonna be at zero on the Y axis as well because player two will be on the bottom of the screen. It'll still be a full width, but again, it'll be half the height of the screen. So now we have that set up. So now we can press the E key to test this out. So let's go back in here. Let that compile. And if I press E, you'll see, oh, there we go. We switch from 
these views for, from a vertical view to a horizontal split. So now we have two separate views, but obviously we want this to be something that our players can interact with as well. You might obviously want to put this in an options menu or something, but not, not necessarily in your game the whole time. But to hook that up, we can just go to our button over here, add an on click and drag the switch object in there, then get the split screen switch function and call the set split screen. Actually, sorry, what am I doing? We need another function just for this. So let's just quickly jump in here. We'll call this public void switch view. And this will just have basically the same bit of code here. So I can copy this, paste that in there, and I can replace this with the switch view function, like so. So now this function is being called. And if we go back in, once that compiles, I can change this to say set screen switch, and we have the switch view function. So now when I play the game, we can just switch between vertical and horizontal at the touch of a button. <clears throat> so there you go. That's how we can quickly and easily set up a nice split screen functionality in our games. It makes it a lot easier to move around as we go. And I'm going to switch my little controller guy here. And it gives us lots of flexibility in our games and also allows obviously a lot more options for multiplayer in your games where you can have your players running around in completely different areas and having a lot of fun. So that's it for this tutorial video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see some more Unity tutorials. And in the meantime, I will be back soon with more tutorial goodness.